Thanks to Saint Family, we are back. We're here with Jay Berna What's in the up? building, having a thought-provoking conversation about mental wellness. Sure. I don't know how we got on that, but I don't this know is either. this this I, I'm I'm liking this train, and I wanted to ask about your relationships. How mm -hmm. has your relationships flourished or ha impacted by you know you doing the work? Um, just the art of transparency, mm. being able to communicate a lot better, being able to assess what the other person is saying, Woo. learning how to coexist without having to to bump heads. Nice. Yeah, so it's, those are a lot of things that I've I've learned, not just in like a love life, but how to deal with other people in right. general or how to deal with myself. Right. Because yeah. oftentimes we're in this space, right, where it be business. Cause it's not just we don't For have sure. to deal with people on just a relationship aspect. But even in a professional world, you will come in and you will see, not even see, but you will feel that energy and that space and it's like oh god it's kind of thick in here yeah. but the person's not speaking the person hasn't said anything to mm -hmm. you and then when they finally say something or interact with you it's so negative you're yeah. like oh it's seven o'clock in the morning like yeah. how are you here in this space at seven o'clock in nah, the for morning sure. now it's a little bit easier to assess like if somebody has a reaction like like what you going through right like you know like it's, it's not me yeah so you don't take it personal yeah, yeah that's that's part of it too is just like like what's really going right. on right because this is right. we've had this conversation and you shooting this out you projected something way right. different right. so it's like easier for me to assess it now and yeah stuff like, that. like yeah. okay all right yeah because when you go through that process i, I go to therapy as well mm -hmm. and when you go through that process um you tend to not only heal within yourself but yeah. everyone around you is like impacted and sometimes it's a shocker for people because yeah. they're used to seeing you in that space and then when you walk out of that space they're like who is this no nah. yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know some people will try toxicity. to pull it yeah. they'll try to pull it out yeah. and like okay i see what you do <laughs> yeah yeah but yeah nah. yeah so how does that influence your music um my music has always been vulnerable because i've always used that as like a sense of therapy mm. without even knowing mm -hmm. um now it's just a lot more like no more apologies like i'm not I'm, unap I'm way more unapologetic about it i'm not trying to uh chase this commercial vibe that i've always been doing it's just more so like it's either you accept it or you don't ah, me. <laughs> <laughs> you know like people people like people love what i do you know what i'm saying so if you don't there's still people that do and i, I that's all i care about yeah i like this new look Thank you. last time you came it was a little lower yeah, yeah you know, I'm about on. to, I'm about to, you know. You about to, you about, about to Miami to style it? it? Nah, nah, oh. nah, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. <laughs> but right now we just a process, you know. I don't know, mommy's watching. Yeah. I don't she, know if she want that. She asked me the other day, she was just like, <laughs> you about to grow your hair? I'm like, yeah. She was like, all right, let's see what this does. Cause she feels like I'm gonna cut it anyway. But okay. We'll see. Okay. So let's talk about, um, you know what? Oftentimes that, well, T.I. does it. I think mm. he's probably, one of the few people I know that brings his kids in this industry, like you always see him around his kids, and you mm -hmm. always see, you know, him trying to elevate them and their crafts because they're all talented. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about your daughter being a part of your craft? Um, she comes with me to interviews. Ooh. She's uh. Um. And does she, she get it yet? Music. She definitely gets it. Okay. She wants to do music. Um. I'm just gonna feed whatever passion she has. Love if it. it turns into music, it turns into music. If it turns into whatever passion she has, we just gonna feed it and see where it goes. But as of right now, she's like writing music. Nice. Crafting her flow and stuff like that. So we'll see where it goes. Wait, what part of music? What, what, what genre or what it's, style? It's rap. It's oh, rap. really? Yeah, it's rap. Yeah, she's pretty okay. good. Well, her concept matters and everything. She's pretty good. It's just- Do you, you know, give her any direction? Yeah, yeah. Okay. for sure. It's like my baby. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. you, you got a kid. You got to be the. Uh, like grin, my baby. <laughs> got to put the guards on the bumper. Yes. Go, you know, so we we good. We uh, we just gonna whatever she wants to do. We just gonna we gonna feed it. Love it, love it. Listen, music and then the transition with everything that you have going on. I see you working hard with Ti and so many other people, and I'm like, okay, you are really putting in the work. For sure. 
Six Percent Family, and when we come back, we'll talk more about music and the work that he's putting in and up and coming things that we have to expect from Jay Burnham at the Haitian American Chamber of Commerce. We'll be right back. <laughs> 